हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी सेंटर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू मीटिंग गियर लेट अस कंसीडर देयर आर टू मीटिंग गियर्स लेट अस से देयर इज वन गियर स्मॉलर वन इज कॉल्ड पिनियन दिस अ स्मॉलर वन लेट अस से दिस इज अ पिनियन एंड लार्जर वन इज कॉल्ड गियर दिस विल बी द गियर now they are meeting at pitch circle diameters right here these are the pitch circles this is a pitch circle is represented to show gear or pinion generally pitch circle is used here it is larger one is called gear now let us say pinion is represented by letter p and gear is represented by letter g therefore the distance between centers of these pinion and gear let us say it is a center of pinion center of gear the distance between center of pinion and center of gear is called center distance this distance is called center distance capital c right therefore can i say this center distance is nothing but this distance is radius of pinion plus this distance is radius of gear therefore the center distance will be equal to radius of pinion plus radius of gear therefore we can say center distance is equal to diameter of pinion divided by 2 plus diameter of gear divided by 2 which is nothing but center distance is equal to summation of diameter divided by 2 diameter of pinion plus diameter of gear divided by 2 right now we know already that this module is nothing but module is nothing but diameter divided by that d divided by t right diameter divided by number of teeth right where d is pitch circle diameter and t is number of teeth already this we have seen in previous lecture and em is called module this already we have seen in previous lecture right now therefore we can say this diameter p circle diameter is equal to module times number of teeth right and for mating gears module of pinion is always equal to module of gear if module of pinion and module of gear is not same then they will not mate will not mate means there will be no relative motion between pinion and gear that already i have stated or explained in previous lecture right therefore here only number of teeth varies therefore i can say diameter of pinion is equal to module into number of teeth on pinion again diameter of gear is equal to module into number of teeth on gear right t is number of teeth therefore center distance is equal to diameter of pinion plus diameter of gear divided by 2 which is nothing but m tp plus m tg divided by 2 which is nothing but we can consider module common module divided by 2 into tp plus tg this is called a center distance right center distance is nothing but radius of pinion plus radius of gear which is nothing but m tp plus tg divided by 2 where tp is number of teeth on pinion and tg is number of teeth on gear now second point we need to understand is velocity ratio here second point we need to understand is velocity ratio right now in terms of if i want to talk about velocity ratio it is also called speed ratio right velocity ratio is called speed ratio also here it is a pinion having radius rp radius of pinion is rp and radius of gear is rg right radius of gear is rg and let us consider gear is rotating in clockwise direction with omega g angular velocity of gear therefore pinion will definitely rotate in anti clockwise direction with angular velocity omega p right and let us say this pinion is a driver and gear is a driven right this gear will be driven it is a driven or follower and pinion is a driver or this is called driven or follower also right generally the smaller is kept as a driver because if smaller is driver torque requirement will be minimum right torque required is minimum that already we have seen in previous lecture one of the lecture right now here let us say pinion is driver but my dear students sometimes gear may be a driver now this velocity ratio or speed ratio is given as angular velocity of driver divided by angular velocity of driven whatever may be the driver and whatever may be the driven right therefore velocity ratio is equal to in this case 
it is angular velocity of pinion divided by angular velocity of gear now this contacting point let us say this contacting point is a pitch point let us say this point is a p point right now because of this rotation because of clockwise rotation of gear and anti clockwise rotation of pinion this point will definitely move towards right like this with velocity and the velocity of this point this velocity is given r omega if i consider radius of pinion i have to consider angular velocity of pinion if i consider radius of gear i have to consider angular velocity of gear only therefore we can say angular velocity of pinion divided by angular velocity of gear is equal to radius of gear divided by radius of pinion right therefore we can say this velocity ratio is equal to angular velocity of pinion divided by angular velocity of gear which is nothing but radius of gear divided by radius of pinion which is nothing but diameter of gear we can say here diameter of gear divided by diameter of pinion which is nothing but number of teeth on gear divided by number of teeth on pinion right this is called velocity ratio right this is called velocity ratio but my dear students remember here i have considered pinion as driver pinion as driver and gear as driven if case reverses then formula will also reverse if gear becomes driver then it is gear divided by pinion the ratio of angular velocity of gear divided by angular velocity of pinion will become right this is called velocity ratio or speed ratio now there is one more term that is called gear ratio gear ratio this gear ratio is a ratio of number of teeth on gear to the number of teeth on pinion doesn't matter who is driver and who is driven here doesn't matter who is driver and who is driven for velocity ratio it matters that who is driver and who is driven for velocity ratio it is velocity angular velocity of driver divided by angular velocity of driven but gear ratio is always number of teeth on gear divided by number of teeth on pinion therefore we can say this gear ratio is equal to number of teeth on gear divided by number of teeth on pinion which is nothing but diameter of gear divided by diameter of pinion which is nothing but radius of gear divided by radius of pinion which is nothing but angular velocity of pinion divided by angular velocity of gear which is always more than 1 my dear students because pinion is smaller that is, therefore diameter of pinion is always less than diameter of gear therefore gear ratio is always greater than 1 this is must condition always but my dear students velocity ratio can be less than 1 and velocity ratio can be more than 1 and velocity ratio can be equal to 1 also right that depends but gear ratio is always more than or equal to 1 this is important for velocity ratio velocity ratio is angular velocity of driver divided by angular velocity of driven now that we have to check who is driver and who is driven right dear students generally for gear manufacturing there are various ways or various methods that is gears are made with the help of casting blanking or machining also right generally these are the methods to manufacture gear but if gear is made for power transmission that is if the purpose of gear is to transmit power then compulsory we are manufacturing then with the help of milling or rack generation or hobbing or fellow gear shaper method right and here we are not going to explain all these methods because these all are topics of your manufacturing production technology subject which is for 15 mark this manufacturing subject manufacturing processes subject is for 15 marks for gate syllabus hence you are going to learn all these manufacturing processes in detail in production technology or manufacturing processes topic right so as of now remember these names and again in production subject the professor will definitely tell you about these thank you dear students in next lecture, we are going to see law of gearing.